We have very tragic news coming in of another terror attack that's taken place in Jammu. We're talking about the fourth terror attack in a matter of just four days. Now, a security personnel has been injured in this attack that's taken place in Doda. Do remember there was another attack that took place in Doda in the last 24 hours. So this makes it the second attack to have taken place in the Doda district itself. So therefore, there are a lot of concerns that are being, uh, uh, you know, uh, that are rising as far as the security situation in the Jammu division of JNK is uh, concerned uh, because there have been four different uh, terror attacks in four uh, different days. So uh, a terrorist opened fire on a police post in Doda, which took place on uh, Wednesday. Uh, and uh, prior to that, an army camp uh, was also attacked in Doda. An encounter has taken place in Katwa after the terrorist attacked a village. And two terrorists and one CRPF Jawan uh, were killed in, uh, that, uh, uh, in that incident. And of course, uh, we also know of uh, uh, the tragedy that took place on Sunday when nine pilgrims died and 33 others were injured when a terrorist attacked a passenger bus uh, uh, going uh, to a uh, Devi. We have Nazir joining us. Nazir, take us through the details of this fourth and the latest terror attack that's again coming out of Jammu, raising a lot of concerns regarding, uh, I mean, this comes after two terrorists were killed just yesterday. Uh, fears are that there might be many more uh, or some more that, uh, that are still hiding in the Jammu division. Well, uh, this is something the almost of the, every day there are reports of attacks now for the last four days, four attacks in four days in a place where last thing you would think about is a militant is militancy. But now uh, every attack, militants are announcing their arrival in different parts of Jammu province, are trying to send a larger message. Yesterday evening there was an attack on a police post in Gando area, Gando area, Balisa in Dura district. Uh, one policeman has been injured, has been shifted to hospital. In fact, the shifting to hospital in such areas is also a difficult challenge given the topography of this and far flung. This is a very, very far flung area. In the same district, um, there was a um, uh, you know attack on army camp. Five army soldiers were injured. One uh, police official was also injured. Before that, there was an attack, you know, encounter in Kutwa. And in which we know two militants were killed, believed to be Pakistani terrorists, and one M4 carbine, American-made, was recovered from that. Similar weapon was used on attack on a Yatri bus uh, in, in Riyasi, in which nine Yatris were killed, 33 others were injured after bus plunged into the gorge. So overall, if you see the militancy resurfacing in Jammu, not all just resurfacing, but for the first time appearing in those areas, which had never witnessed militancy in the past. A uh, very, very serious security challenge. How government is going to deal with this? Uh, police has said that it is an attempt to communalize because Jammu province largely has mixed population. So they are trying to, you know, play with the communal fault lines in this in this region. That's why you see Yatris were attacked. Last year they have been attacked on the on Hindu families in, in, in Rajori. Uh, this this uh, militancy in this particular in this region becomes a bigger challenge right. security wise, but the topography of the area because it's a vast area and managing the security of this area is just not easy because the already a mass security structure is bombed down or engaging counting militants. Right.